Do you know how you can implement what if analysis in Power BI? Hi, this is Krupali from Know How Academy. So let's start with me. Let me tell you what you are going to learn in this video. In this video, you will learn what is the meaning of what if analysis. Second, you will understand the real life scenario where you can implement what if analysis. And the third, practical implementation of what if analysis in Power BI. So let me first tell you what is the meaning of what if analysis. What if analysis means what might will happen if we change our decision. So that is called what if analysis. Let me explain you what is what if analysis using real life scenario. Imagine you are selling cake in your shop. Now you are selling 50 cake per day and selling price of each cake is rupees 200 and cost price of each cake is rupees 100. So you can say that your net profit per cake is rupees 200 that is selling price minus rupees 100 that is cost price so your net profit is rupees 100 per cake so on an average if you are selling 50 cake per day your total profit per day is 50 into rupees 100 that is rupees 5000 per day so you are getting 5000 profit per day by selling 50 cakes at the price of rupees 200. What is if the cost price of cake is increased by rupees 5? So you, we can say that new cost price is rupees 105. And still you are selling a cake rupees 200. So your new selling price is same as old selling price that is rupees 200. So if you want to calculate your profit, so your new profit is selling price minus new cost price that is 200 minus 105 that is 105. So net profit per cake is rupees 95 and still you are selling 50 cake per day. So your total profit per day is 95 into 50 that 4750 so we can say that when your cost price is rupees 100 so your profit per day is rupees 5000 but so let's say your new cost price is 105 so your profit per day is 4750 your profit is decreased by rupees 250 so here how what if analysis you have done what if analysis you have done that what if the cost price is increased and we keep selling price as it is so we get a result that we may get less profit compared to the old cost price so we can say that before incrementing a cost price your profit was rupees 5000 and after incrementing the cost price your profit become 4750 so you have implemented a what if analysis like this what if my cake cost price is increased by 5 rupees and still i am selling cake at rupees 200 so here we can get a result that our profit will decrease if our cost price is increased by rupees 5 so let's implement what if analysis practically in power bi here is my financial data says of selling different product here you need to pay attention on this column that is sell that is indicating the total amount of sell by selling this much product and this is cogs cogs means cost of good sold so here by say, uh, my selling i get this much total sell and i need to minus cost of goods sold and then i get a profit of this much amount now here i will perform a what if analysis on 
COGS. Here, I will try to increase the cost of goods sold and then determine the new profit. Let's see. Here, I have already developed. Let me show you. Here, my total sell is rupees 118.73 million. My total cost of goods sold is 101.83 million. So, if I minus 118.73 minus 101.83, I will get total profit that is 16.89 million. Now, here this is a same thing. But here in this uh, downside uh, card chart, I will get the uh, total cost of goods sold increased if I change the slicer. Let's say my cost of goods sold is increased by 2%. So, my updated profit will be 14.86 million. Before that, my total profit was 16 point something, 16.89, that is nearer to 13 million. But if the cost of good is increased by 2%, then my new profit will be 14.86, that is 15 million. So, we can say that my updated profit decrement is 12.6%. So, my profit will be decreased by 12.6 if the cost price is increased. Let's say if my cost price is increased by 5%, then you can say that my updated profit will be 11.8 million only and my profit will be decremented by 30%. Now, how I implement it? Uh, before that, let me show you on a chart also. Let's say here in France, I am getting the profit of 3.8 million. But if my, uh, let's say if my cost price is increased by 2%, then my profit will be, before that it was 3.8 million in France. But if the cost price is increased, so from France, I am getting only 3.4 million profit. Same for another city. Let's say if I uh, increase the cost price by 5%. Then respective decrement I can see in each and every step. So let's perform practically on our financial data set. From this financial data set, I will take this column to find a total cell. I will take COGS column to find total COGS and I will take profit column to find a total profit. So let's find it. Before that, I will create a separate table for uh, measure. So let me create it. So my table is created and under that first I will create a measure which will find a total cell. So let me just right click on that and create new measure total cell equal to sum then final and total. Okay so here this is my total cell. Let's develop a second measure for finding a total COGS. A second measure is created for finding total COGS. Then let's create a third measure for finding total profit. Now let's uh, display that measure in card chart. So here first we will display total cell here. Then in the second let's display total COGS. That is to, and in third card chart, display total profit. So here we have display the total profit, uh, total profit, total COGS and total uh, sales. To implement a what if analysis in Power BI, we need to create one parameter. And depending on that parameter, our uh, value will change if we perform what if analysis. So let's say we want to implement what if my cost price that is COGS is increased by 1%. What if my COGS is increased by 2% and so on. So for that you need to create first parameter. So to do that you need to go to the modeling. Then you need to click on new parameter and select numeric range. Now in numeric range you need to give a name of the parameter. So let's say... Uh, COGS update 
that can be minus or that can be plus but right now we will keep the thing that is uh, what if uh, the cost price is increased by one percentage okay and we can also uh, think that what if cost price is decrement by one percentage okay so here first we will create for uh, increase and then we ca you can try out for decrement also so uh, it can be a decimal number then minimum value can be zero and maximum value can be five percentage and it will be increment by one and here don't forget to click add slicer to this page okay uh, once you click on okay the slicer will be added automatically and here you will able to see that a new table is created now in this table two things will be there so first let me click on that so this is a measure which will generate a series from 0 to 5 so what if the cost price is increased by 0 percentage 1 percentage 2 percentage and so on then uh, you will see that the one measure is already created that will select the proper value which you have selected okay so let's say if this is that so selected value will be 1 then if i increase so 2 so here in this measure whatever you have selected from this slicer it will come here okay so let me just format a slicer uh, quickly okay so my slicer is formatted now what i need to do i will create one measure which will calculate updated cogs now what i will do if my slicer value will change i need to calculate my updated cogs so my total cogs is 101.83 million what if it is increased by one percentage what if it, it increased by two percentage so for that i need to create one measure so let me right click and create a measure and then i will give the measure name as a updated cogs updated cogs equal to total cogs plus what can be the new cogs so whatever the new cogs then then it we, we should increment it by the number of percentage so you can write like this total cogs multiply by whatever value you have selected so this is the uh, measure which get the selected slicer value so if you write cogs update so automatically this measure will come cogs updated value so we will multiply and then we will divide it by 100 and then complete the bracket new updated cogs so let's take one new card chart and display the updated cogs now let's say if my cogs is increased by two percentage so my updated cogs will be that much let's say if i increase by three percentage so value is changing so you can see that okay now see if i decrease by zero so all the new will be same why because it because it is a zero percentage now after that i need to make sure what will be my new profit if my cogs is updated by one percentage so we can say that my total cost of goods sold is 102 million so i need to minus 102 million from 118 million so i need to create a new measure for finding updated profit okay so updated profit equal to how can i find a total updated profit so for that i need to minus this updated cogs from total cell total cell minus updated cogs then i will get updated profit let me take a card chart and display the updated profit so here if my cost price is increased by two percentage so my profit is 14.86 million so it is decremented by some value so how much decrement is done in my new profit so i can find it by creating a new measure let's say here new measure okay profit change equal to uh, this is my total profit 
total profit minus my updated profit that is updated profit and let's display in a card so you can say that 2.04 million profit is decreased let's say here if it is decreased so automatically the decrement will be less so we can say that uh, the if the our cost price is increased by one percentage then our profit will be decreased by 1.2 million so let's say it is showing in a uh, plus sign so what we can say definitely updated profit will be less than the previous profit so we can write like this to get the exact change okay so let's say minus sign it is indicating in decrement so let's say if my cost price is increased by four percentage so my profit will be decremented by 4.7 million so easily you can get an idea how the cost price is affecting the profit so here we perform what if analysis what if my cost price is updated by two percentage then my new profit will be 14.86 million and i get minus 2.4 million loss so you can say that you will get a loss of 2.4 million okay so this way you can perform what if analysis now let's say here you want to perform a what if analysis on uh, each and every country so what will you do first of all you need to take a bar chart and in bar chart you need to display the country information so let's say here i'm displaying country in x axis now i want to display the country wise profit so here my profit is there okay so here you can display this profit or you can display from all measure on y axis so country wise this much profit you get now you want to display updated profit so for that you can uh, this get this here and then see now i want this card visual that is slicer so what you can do let me copy this slicer and paste it and click on synchronize let's say my co uh, cogs is updated then you can see that my profit is decreased on each and every country and let's say if i switch on the data label of this chart then you will get an idea of this so this way you can perform what if analysis in power bi i hope you get an idea how you can implement what if analysis still if you have any question in what if analysis you can ask your question in a comment section we are always ready to help you thank you for choosing know how academy as a source of your it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate to the tech world if you have any question do not feel hesitate to reach out us stay curious keep learning